differences between men and women. Yes, there are biological differences between men and women. But I'm saying there's certain character attributes and traits of how young men should be raised and how young ladies should be raised. You are defining that women should be raised in one way and men should be raised in another. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes, men should to be gentlemen, to to you to never use force unless absolutely necessary. And women who are more biologically likely to be nurturers and caretakers should be taught to be ladies from a young age. There's no, there, that's biologically consistent. No, if, if women want to do something different, that's fine. However, the data shows when men and women around ages 6 to 18 are given the option of what kind of majors they want to study, women tend to go towards early childhood education, nursing, so on and so forth, and men tend to go towards business and finance. Men and women have biological differences. Because and of the way that they were raised. No. No, that's that you and I completely the, I mean, you know, you know, I don't want to be a misogynist. But I kind of have to, right? When you hear these things coming from women, that they think the only thing that is the difference between a man and a woman is how they were raised. And that's the only thing that is the difference. That is stupid. It is. I, I can't say it in any other way. How the fuck can you come to that conclusion? That's the only thing that is the difference? You don't see other differences? How can you be that stupid? It's baffling. It's It really is. And women have biological differences. Because and of the way that they were raised. No. No, that's, that, you and I completely disagree. It's the DNA chromosomal structure that's inherited who they are. Men are better at some things than women, and women are better at some things than men. What things are men better at? Lifting heavy objects. Women are better caretakers and nurturers. Women are more organized. Women mature earlier. Yeah, I'm a way better nurturer than my sister. I work with kids. Holy shit. There are always exceptions to the rule, but the, the rule exists for a reason. So the top. There cannot be exceptions to a rule because the rule doesn't exist. Why is she holding toilet paper? <laughs> no, that, that's not the case. You have the rule, which is a generally generally true on the aggregate, but you always have things that are outliers to the data to the data trend. Men are typically physically gifted than women. That's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And again, again, when I say this. I believe intelligence is correlated also to how much truth you can actually uh, decipher or, you know, yeah, how much truth you can admit to. Why? Because this whole reality is based off of truth. So if you want to become intelligent in this reality, then you can't deny truths. And when you do, like this girl is doing, she's denying truths, okay? Like, for example, the truth that men and women are different. You're not going to go that far when it comes to intelligence because you're denying truths. This reality is based off of truths. So... You're basically denying the reality that you're in. So you're going to not go that far when it comes to intelligence. Because of that fact, denying truth will make you dumb, whoever you are, man or woman. So in this case, generally, not all, but generally, men tend to be more honest than women generally speaking not talking about exceptions therefore men can be can come across more intelligent because they can accept truth more than women seem to be accepting truth and why am i saying this i didn't just take it out of my ass i'm saying this because you see a lot of women denying a bunch of true shit. And therefore, I can make the conclusion. If I did not see a lot of women doing that, then I would not be saying this. So I only go by from what I've been seeing. Uh, and there's a lot of women that deny basic shit, man. It's, it's, it's kind of ridiculous.
Yeah, that's right. Men are typically physically gifted than women, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say that again? That men are usually stronger physically than women, that is true. The data supports that. Are there women that are stronger than men? Of course, that's an exception to a rule. That's called an outlier to data. I'm not saying better, I'm not saying one, one sex okay. gender is better okay. than the other, they're different. I, I can see your point, I can see that men do have more testosterone, oh, okay. they that, are that, That's what I'm saying, so there's differences. Yes, but... Therefore, men are better at certain things than women, and women are better at certain things than men. What? Yeah, just leave it at that. Like, yeah, you're right. Okay, good. Now we can go somewhere. I've noticed that whenever you make the point to one of these donuts that men and women are different, they always seem to think that you're saying that men are better. Also, if you speak to nearly any parent that's got a boy and a girl, they're gonna tell you there's big differences in raising the two. From the way puberty affects them, interests, relationships, there's loads of different things. How many hours do you work, Eric? 60 hours a week. 60 hours a week. And how many hours do you work at home? The same. More. Why the fuck you lying? All day, all night. Really? And then you woke up and realised you were dreaming, you mean? <laughs> oh. Here. What is all this? How long have you been here? You ain't clean this up. Just go in the living room. Give me five, ten minutes. I gotta take a nap. Five, ten minutes? You need to get up I'm now. Taking a nap. You need to get up now. Look at all this. I'm taking a nap. If you're working your ass off every day, it by free, but I'd say nowadays, times it by. She ain't come back because she cared about you. She came back because nobody cared about her. He ain't lying. Yo, I don't see the point of approaching women or bagging women. There's no point unless you know. The only way you get her is if you already know she's into you. So what if you're out somewhere and you find an attractive woman, you're not going to go up to her? There's no point. Why? Because they choose. There's absolutely no point of, what do you mean how? And this is also fact. Women choose. That's how it is. Women choose. You're not chosen if you don't go up to her. You don't have to go up to her. Yo, you, yo, when a woman wants what she wants, she shows you that she wants it. Not lie, all women lie. All y'all looking at the camera, lie. Lie and say y'all don't. These women throw, but listen, there's dudes that don't got to do nothing but breathe. Hey, I think you're so handsome. I think you're this. Women will come up to them. I used to be one of those guys. And then which I'm... one? Which one were you? Come on now. Which one were you? The you one know? that women used to come up to you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo. A lot of men have this attitude now when it comes to approaching women, and I don't blame them. There's a lot of men that are not only scared of being rejected, but also being labeled a creep or being accused of something. Just look at all these viral gym videos of men in the background being labeled as creeps just for looking in their direction. Yeah, this is funny. I, I I can compare this to you know if if there are women at a, in a club, and they're dancing with each other, and and a and a guy approaches, you know, let's say an ugly guy that they're not interested in, and and the guy approaches them and starts dancing, you know, in a in a uh, suggestive way, you know, they're like, ah, get away, creep. But if a handsome guy did the exact same thing that the other guy did they would be oh yeah starting to you know rub their ass towards the guy and shit you know what I mean? <laughs> that's funny <laughs> So you caption this post, the worst part about your gym at home is the old men staring. To peep that guy in the back. Okay, let's peep that guy in the back. He's not even looking at you. He's probably looking up watching one of those TVs for some sports highlights. But you'd rather take a photo to post on social media, make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not, just for some likes and attention. Do you have any idea what this can do to that man in that gym, in his community, to his family? And all for what? So you can get some likes and attention? Seriously? Women are absolutely harassed in gyms and it needs to stop. But you are not one of them. And the next time you go home, I hope you have to find a new gym because this one kicks your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business. My wife said, I want to go on a Chippendales cruise. Exactly. I would say, you're not going on a Chippendales cruise. Exactly. People say, you don't trust your wife. I don't trust the Chippendales. I don't trust the situation. And quite frankly, I'm smart enough to keep her out of situations. Now, if she said, can I go on a Chippendales cruise because of whatever reason, I do trust her. However, I would never let her go on to a Chippendales cruise and drink. Because, dude, drinking is when the cheating happens. Drinking is when the cheating And maybe you could say that the similar thing with women. Like, a woman would never send their man to a strip club, would they? Right? Like, the dude, if the dude says, I, I'm just going to go to the strip club, I won't be doing, doing anything, I promise. And let's say we knew that for a fact. That would not matter for the woman. The woman would say, you are not going to a strip club, period. 
Why? Because they know a man in a strip club means trouble. They know that. They know that there will be women in that strip club. You know. What do you say? For moosing the, the guy. Putting the guy in a trance. And then you know what? Eating happens. Yeah. Alcohol. But I would guess your wife would never even ask to go do that. No. Point. She did. She it, wouldn't be my wife. Exactly. My wife would never even ask to do it. I would never let her either. Uh, people say, well, dude, you got to trust your wife. No, 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 no. Be smart. I say this. You don't want a haircut. Stay out the barbershop. <laughs> Yeah. If you settle down with a woman that respects you and has the same values, you won't have to have them conversations because she won't put you in them situations. I will be loving you till we're 17 and Hold on. Found out she cheated three days later. We'll fall in love with you. Maybe kids are too children. Me, I keep on being do you know what the crazy thing is? All the ones cheering him and encouraging him, saying, oh, he's such a cute, good guy. They probably all knew she was cheating. They do say nurses are some of the biggest cheaters in the game. It's an evil world we live in. Well, listen, I will just say this, though. The guy is cringy, man. What are you doing, man? This is cringy. You're going to her work and singing. I think that alone will make her cheat. Guy, they probably all knew she was cheating. They do say nurses are some of the biggest cheaters in the game. It's an evil world we live in. Do you want to go somewhere else? Oh, yeah. Okay, where do you want to go? I don't know. Do you want it? Do you want to go? Twitch streamer finds out he's getting cheated on. Now we can have it. We, we, we can do this. No, we can go somewhere else. Now we can do this. Okay. Now it's good. Okay. Let me see. Oh, the beach right there. Oh, we right by the beach. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem, bro? Bro, what is your problem? <laughs> There's only one place she belongs if she cheats. She belongs to the streets.